A man and woman were disturbed while exercising together. The door handle lock is suddenly turned. They thought they would be discovered cheating scene. However, the next second the door handle turned back to its original position. Kitty breathes a sigh of relief and says it's a good thing the door was locked. But she was worried that the person outside was her husband, who had returned from work early in her turn. The man. She hurriedly pushed open the window to take a look before she was temporarily relieved. When she finished, she went out of the room and found a package on the table. She asked the maid and learned that her husband had put it down. Kitty's body frowned instantly. It turned out that the person who tried to open the door and enter the room was indeed her husband. Kitty met her current husband, Water, at a dinner party. Water saw him in the crowd, so he deliberately approached and politely invited her to dance with him. However, Kitty had no feelings for Water. She just thought it was a common conversation. However, Water is a blind date arranged by Kitty's parents. They are anxious that Kitty is not married by the time she is old enough to marry. So they ask around for a good man. Water fits the bill. He is a PhD researcher in bacteria and works in Shanghai, China, and has a gentle and friendly personality. But Kitty doesn't care about that. Like a naive little girl, she still believes that love is the most important thing. She resisted the idea of marriage without love. Her stepmother disapproves of her ideas. She said that it was impossible to keep Kitty in the family. Kitty left in anger to go out for a breath of fresh air. But when she opens the door, she sees Water. Water is holding a box of chocolates. His panicked look is obviously looking for Kitty. He happens to see Kitty and invites her out for a walk. The two arrive at a flower store. But before they could get to know each other, Water proposed to her. Kitty was dumbfounded and felt that everything came so suddenly. She'd never seen a man like that before either. He said he would do anything to make Kitty happy. Kitty wasn't touched by these words. But when she got home, she heard her stepmother on the phone discussing her marriage to Water. And stepmother that I gave up on Kitty a long time ago made her very sad. Kitty is not happy, but finally gives into reality and marries Water. The two of them came to Shanghai together. It was Kitty's first time out of her country. She was very happy with the newness of things. And Water's tenderness makes her accept this life reluctantly. Water treats her like a treasure and cares for her carefully. But Water was always silent and busy with his work alone. This made Kitty complain a little. Water noticed Kitty's discontent and offered to play games together. But it was just a boring card game. The only fun they have as a couple is going to a ball. This is where Kitty meets Charlie, the British Vice Consul. At this time, a Chinese opera was being performed on stage. The Westerners watched in disbelief and tried to appreciate the art as much as possible. Charlie was always a flirt. He created an ambiguous atmosphere as he explained the opera to Kitty. He said that the opera was about a poor woman in a foreign land with unbreakable chains and cries for the lively, carefree girl she once was. She especially had not tasted the sweetness of love. Kitty could only hear and feel it. She was now in a marriage without love. She began to cry when she thought of her life as an invisible shackle. But this was just a story Charlie had made up. And that's how Charlie entered Kitty's world. Kitty thought she had found love, although she knew it was Water who came back that day. But she didn't confess everything to Water until Water took the initiative to talk to her. Water said that the cholera outbreak in the town of Lingzhong in Guangxi was a very serious epidemic. Many doctors died from the infection and needed medical resources. Water then volunteered to lead the medical work. He not only wanted to go himself but also dragged Kitty with him. Kitty strongly disagreed. Water threatened to divorce her for her fault if she didn't go. He said he wasn't that stupid. So Kitty had to confess that she still believed that she and Charlie were in love. She said that Charlie would divorce his wife and marry her later. Water laughed out loud at this naive woman, but he also felt very sad. He knew very well that Kitty had no feelings for him, but he had been hoping that Kitty would really love him after they spend more time together. Instead, he got this result. Water was really disappointed. He asked Kitty to go to Charlie and tell him the truth. As long as Charlie can really marry Kitty, he didn't want Kitty to go to Guangxi. However, after Kitty explained everything to Charlie, Charlie refused. He said his status work is impossible to marry Kitty. At that moment, Kitty finally understood true love is only her fantasy. True love for Charlie is just for fun. In the end, Kitty could only follow Walter to Guangxi in distress in order to revenge on his unfaithful wife. The husband forced to bring her to the land of cholera. They will either end up alive or dead. After the two of them arrived in Guangxi, Walter deliberately distanced himself from Kitty. He spent his days silent with a medical book in his hand until some man carrying a palanquin appeared at the end of the road. They finally rode up the mountain in the palanquin. They met a funeral procession on the way and the paper money was flying. 
This made Kitty think that she would only face death in the future. They moved into a wooden building on top of the mountain. Waddington is their only neighbor. Kitty learns through Waddington that Walter didn't choose to come here by water. He chose the bumpy mountain road to get here on purpose to torment Kitty. The more Kitty thought about it, the angrier she became. Walter brought her to this cholera land because he wanted her to die. While they were sleeping in separate rooms, there was the eerie sound of villagers exorcising ghosts outside. This torments Kitty's mental world. At this time, the British are not welcome in China. The couple is in danger. The nearby regiment sent a simple police officers to ensure Kitty's safety. Walter spent most of his time checking on the town. He crossed the river by boat and speculated that the water might be the main source of disease transmission. He took a sample from the well and tested it and found that the water was contaminated. The only solution was to seal the well. Although the villagers did not want to, they were threatened by the officers and had to swear and cooperate. Walter went back to the ward to see the patients in pain and fell very bad. He went back and spent all his time studying the data. He did not look at Kitty and did not communicate with her. Kitty was on the verge of collapse. At that moment, the servant brought a pot of lettuce. Walter told her to take it down and cook the lettuce. Otherwise, they might be infected by the virus. Kitty insists on keeping the lettuce and smiles as she eats it in big bites. She protested against Walter's silence and indifference by gambling. In Walter's opinion, this act was tantamount to suicide. He frowned for a few seconds, then took the lettuce and put it straight into his mouth. If she was going to die, he was going to die with her. His heart had been dead from the moment he learned it of Kitty's betrayal. Kitty had to go out that day. Despite her advice, she met the villager who fell dead in front of her house. She was shocked and scared to see the man's horrible death. People are easily scared in unfamiliar surroundings. So they will instinctively want to be close to familiar people. So Kitty, who had been wearing a veil, began to get to know Walter. Kitty crossed the river by boat to the town. She came to the orphanage looking at the strange and resentful looks and abuse from others. There are nuns who don't want to leave the children. She learns from the nuns that babies are often abandoned. And Walter loved these children. He would try to spend as much time as possible to help in the nursery. Kitty was touched by this. She had no idea that Walter had such a kind side. She always thought that Walter was a boring and old-fashioned person. Kitty always came to the orphanage afterwards to help out. She changed the baby's diapers. Walter was surprised to see her all dirty. Walter thought she was a lady who never worked. He didn't think Kitty had such a side to her. Often, marriages without affection between people are the result of a lack of understanding from the very beginning, which leads to many misunderstandings about the partner. Walter stopped at the door and watched Kitty play the piano for the children. He felt like he was back in London at the ball and remembered the feeling of love at first sight. That night they talked seriously about what had happened before. Kitty asked her question, why did Walter not open the door when he knew Charlie was in the room with her? He says Charlie is not worth the fight. The couple's misunderstandings seem to be cleared up. A woman is pregnant, but not happy. She is worried that the baby may not be her husband's. Walter arrives to see Kitty and is overjoyed. But he changes his expression immediately after hearing that Kitty has been pregnant for more than two months. Kitty cried and said she didn't know who the father of the baby was. Walter choked up for a moment. Then he said that it did not matter anymore. Walter chose to forgive his wife because he loved Kitty more than anything else. He had previously discovered that villagers had buried people who had died of cholera by the river. This is the source of the polluted water. In order to solve the problem of water for the villagers, he got inspiration from Kitty and prepared to build a big water wheel. The water wheel was powered from upstream and used bamboo joints as pipes. This will bring clean water to the town. Water's work was going well and his relationship problems seemed to be solved. He came to the Waddington house that night to ask for a drink. Kitty came after him. They listened to Waddington's love story together. Waddington had saved a fisherman's family by chance. The fisherman's young daughter fell in love with him and married him. Kitty wanted to know why she fell in love with Waddington. She said it was because Waddington was a good man. Kitty listened thoughtfully because she was now impressed by Walter's virtues too and seemed to have fallen in love with him. Late at night, the couple are both drunk. Kitty deliberately removes her long dress in front of Walter. Their long suppressed feelings finally exploded at that moment. They spend a sweet night together. They finally traveled as a couple after that. Kitty Saturday on a bamboo raft to enjoy the beautiful landscape and enjoyed their time in the picturesque scenery. But they didn't have long to enjoy their happiness. The big crisis came. Water had solved the water problem. But the cholera was still there. Refugees from other places came into town with new sources of infection. By this time, the conflict was rampant and the number of patients increased. 
Walter collapsed while trying to save the refugees. Kitty had to come and see Walter. Despite all advice, she watched Walter's life slip away before she truly understood his love for her. The tangle of love and hate that once existed at the end of her life is only a piece. Walter was turned into a shovel full of dirt in a foreign country. Death became his tribute to love. Kitty was left to stand in the same place. Kitty went back to London alone and gave birth to a son. A few years later, she met Charlie on the street. Charlie is still shamelessly flirting with her. And this time, Kitty turned away with a firm gait. The film is based on William Somerset Maugham's novel The Painted Veil. But the film changes the focus to the couple's ultimate understanding and warmth. There are men who are faithful to their wives. There are men who have a daily affair and say that everything doesn't have to be taken too seriously. There are women who are smart and know how to fight for happiness. Some women are addicted to their desires and find it hard to extricate themselves. The imagery of the veil in the movie is not exactly the veil of life. It is also the veil of feelings. Behind the veil lies a sincere love. Maybe there is a water in every woman's side. At least the water in their hearts. Maybe they have thought of marrying such a man. They may also have thought that they can't hurt a good man like this. But a movie is still a movie. You have to experience your own life yourself.